So I've created my form, I'm ready to share it to my learners. Um, I forgot to send, um, if I haven't already made this part of an assignment, always recommended. Um, personally, I would start with assignments in Google Classroom and I would create my form as part of that and that way it will automatically be assigned to the learners in my class. But if you've not done it that way, you can either email it out to your learners, create a link for it, and what I can do is copy that link and pop it into my classroom. Um, or again, you can take an embed code and you can make that part of, for example, a Google site. Uh, if you created that or any other website, a Google blog, you can pop this embed code in and you can have a form on your website. So it might be handy for handing out for homework. You might be wanting to do a form for evaluative purposes rather than a quiz and, and that way you can, you can share that in the school website. And I, can, and I can also add collaborators with the vertical ellipsis, get the collaborators there, and I can add my colleagues' names in, or I can give them a link to share that. The last wee bit about sharing is, again, up in the settings, um, you can gather emails from respondents, so that's if you've got an anonymous quiz, um, an anonymous quiz or form, um, but if you are asking the quiz to capture the learner's details so that you've got assessment data, you know who's completed it. Um, you can see here, mine's is already set to users um, in, in my local authority or my school, so um, you can also limit it to one response. So if I turn that off, I can't use the file upload question type um, for say uploading photographs um, or videos of evidence. Um, so that is required for file upload and it's required to assign the pupil of the learner's name um, to their form, so you've got that assessment data, and you can also limit it to one response as well. So if that's an assessment, that might be really useful. Um, or if you're doing an evaluative form out to school families um, and you don't want um, a sort of spam response, um, perhaps you're asking what you should change the school dinners to, um, you could easily have uh, one family putting in 20 responses saying pizza. Um, so you can limit that to one response and again they'll be required to sign in and submit an email address um, and that means that um, you are capturing data so you want to check with your local GDPR guidance on that but um, that's, that's an option that you have there.